Do you guys know how I always uh, bring up that movie, The Campaign, with Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis? Um, and I do it because sometimes I feel like we're living in it because we have such a crazy political landscape. I mean, Donald Trump is president. What the fuck is that? Al Franken's a senator. I mean, the list goes on and on. And that's, by the way, not... Al's actually not that bad, so... <laughs> and certainly not as bad as Donald Trump, so I feel weird putting them together. But I think you get the point. Is like It's almost like, is this real life? with the things that happen in our political landscape. Um, well, today, I mean, it's... This is the best example I've seen yet, that we really are approaching the campaign-level absurdity in our political process. Uh, look at this headline. On the eve, or on eve of election, Montana GOP candidate charged with assault on reporter... What? <laughs> this close, this close to the, what actually happened in the campaign of like, whoops, punched a baby. <laughs> what are you going to do? You assaulted a reporter on the day before the election. You must be the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. Who does that? Oh my God, who does that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, so this is a special election in Missouri, or excuse me, Montana. I just told you it's Montana. Uh, for Congress, it's there's a guy named Rob Quist who's a Democrat, and he's up against uh, Greg John Forte. Now John Forte is a, a billionaire Republican, and uh, he's out of touch. If I'm not mistaken, I think he just lost a race to be governor at in the election where Trump swept everything. Trump swept everything. He he lost. So, wowzers on that one. Um, not really the best politician, clearly. Now, he's in Montana, which is deep red country. And it's like he's trying everything he can to lose the election. Punches a reporter? <laughs> so, uh, we don't have video yet. There might be video. Uh, according to the initial reports, they say um, there was a local camera crew there, but they might not have set up the camera in time, so I don't know. But what we do have is audio, and the audio is amazing. Let me play it for you, and I'm going to come back and describe what all the eyewitnesses, and there were many eyewitnesses, what they all saw. Let's watch. And, what yeah, you and we'll talk it. to you about that later. Yeah, but there's not going to be time. I'm just curious if okay, you have the speak with right Shane, now. please. But you don't... I'm sick and tired of you guys. The last time you came good. here, you did the same thing. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. Get the hell out of here! The last guy did the same thing. You were the guardian? Yes, and you just broke my glasses. You, the last guy did the same damn thing. You just body slammed me and broke my glasses. Get the hell out of here. You'd like me to get the hell out of here, I'd also like to call the police. Can I get you guys' names? Hey, hey, you gotta leave. He just body slammed me. You gotta leave. Oh my god. <laughs> so... Uh, he was asking him about the new CBO report out on Trump Care, which found that I think it's 23 million people are going to lose their health insurance under it. And he, the guy's just fucking caught stone dead, has no answer, no response, no political spin, because this guy's in favor of repealing Obamacare and he's in favor of Trump Care. So they're like, okay, you're in favor of it. Well, 23 million people are going to lose their insurance. Your thoughts? And they go, oh, get the hell out of here. Oh, why do you guys always do this? Look, ambush me. Uh, so his his team said, oh, the reporter grabbed his arm. Everybody in the room, including Fox News reporters, are like, that is not true. That's not even close to true. Not at all. And they say, well, no, he had the recorder thing and he put it like up to him. Yeah, that's what every reporter does ever. There's a there's pictures out there of every politician you can think of, right wing, left wing, whatever, Bernie Sanders, Ted Cruz, everybody in between. With reporters holding their fucking thing up so that they, you know, record what the politician is saying. Not once has one of them said, Ah, oh, get the hell out of here! And then fucking body slammed him. He broke his glasses. And they also say, all the eyewitnesses say, they say there was no sign whatsoever of aggression from Ben Jacobs, the reporter. None. So the guy fucking body slams him, breaks his glasses, and then punches him. He punches him. 
That is the clearest case of assault I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever. Now get this. At first they didn't arrest him. People start digging, what'd they find? The sheriff donated $250 to John Forte's campaign. But eventually, eventually, uh, they did, they charged him. They charged him with assault. I think it was misdemeanor assault. But how wild is that, man? On the eve of a special election, when you're the Republican candidate who's favored to win, but, like... They even admit, his campaign admitted a little while back, this race is closer than, we're, than we want it to be. This is too close for comfort. You're gonna body slam a reporter? <laughs> and by the way, the... Oh my god, the Republicans on Twitter, the far-right crowd, hilarious the way they're trying to rationalize this, and they're like, well, well he was a British reporter. So it's okay to do assault if the person's British. That's a new one. Never heard of that one before. There were other ones who were like, yeah, well, you know, why, why doesn't the media care about, like, when the left wing does violence? They can't bring themselves to say the obvious. This is the same crowd, by the way, that loves to say, free speech, free speech, free speech, First Amendment, free expression. I mean, what? Yeah, come on. I mean, the left wing social justice warriors on college campuses are the worst. But if a Republican politician assaults a reporter, I mean, that's exactly against a, a, a free and open press and free speech and free expression in the First Amendment. Well, then they're, they're like, well, it's, come on, shit happens. What are we going to do? Let's move along. Come on, forget it. Forget about it. Not a big deal. Talk about left wing violence. Left wing violence is. I mean, come on. <laughs> he was British. I mean, what are you going to do? Is a fucking British guy in your face? You're going to body slam him. That's what happens. Oh, God, this is crazy. This is so fucking crazy. So we'll see what happens. You know what the crazy part is? Can anybody say with total confidence that this guy's definitely going to lose? I certainly can't. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, look at what happened with Trump. Trump was caught a, a, something that in the 90s would have tanked him immediately, in the 80s would have tanked him immediately, in the early 2000s it would have tanked him immediately. When he was caught saying, you know, he was trying to fuck somebody, this is while he was with Melania, Talking about trying to fuck this star, and then gra I grab him by the pussy, I don't even wait. That tape would have saying, but okay, even if you put that one aside, like, okay, questionable comments on sex. What about the fact that Trump was on Fox and Friends, and he said on live TV, we have to take out their families, talking about terrorist families. So, like, let's kill civilians on purpose in the Middle East. That's like the definition of terrorism, kill civilians for a political reason. That is terrorism. Trump said, I want to be a terrorist on TV, and he won the election. And no, but the media didn't even flip out about that one. It's not like CNN and MSNBC ran that clip and were like, oh my God, look at what he said. They're just like, oh, whatever. So is it possible that people will look at a body slam of a reporter and go, yeah, he's standing up to the establishment and the fake news? Yeah, that's fucking possible. That's absolutely possible. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. You know, maybe he loses and he loses because of this and a mix of all the other factors. And, uh, you know, Rob Quist has run... A decent, a decent campaign, but not a perfect campaign. Um, is it possible he wins? Despite what he did? Yes. But I'll be very interested to see the results here. Um, <laughs> we're living in the movie The Campaign. Body slamming a reporter asking you a tough question a day before your election. 